Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today, <coughs> that's my feeling. Okay, that's my feeling. Sorry for all of you um, headphone users out there. I am one of you when I watch YouTube, and that probably penetrated your ears. You're welcome. Don't say I didn't give you anything for Christmas. <sighs> Christmas gift, you know, Christmas gift. <sighs> The time has come where I can buy things. What was the point of going on a no buy low buy for an entire year when you just spend it all in November? Black Friday has done me, done me a good, uh, done me a good. I am clannering life up right now. Everything is being paid in sets of three because otherwise my entire paycheck would be out of the door within the hour and if you're new here hello welcome my name is meg and i like to talk about all the superficial things around here all the things that bring us a little bit of joy in the everyday grind that can be life i've still got my headband around my wrist everyday life can be difficult so we like to talk about all the superficial things around here all the things makeup skincare hair care homeware and fashion we talk about them all in some capacity so if that sounds like a little bit of you join my family join my circle of trust and let's get into this. Pat McGrath had a sale. She had a Black Friday sale. Black Friday sale. Pat McGrath. Uh 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 uh. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Twenty five percent off when you spend thirty nine pounds or more. Thirty percent off when you spend one hundred and twenty pounds or more. Or thirty five percent off when you spend one hundred ninety five pounds or more. You might be thinking one hundred ninety five pounds. That's sickening. And it is, it is. But Pat McGrath, we've got to remember, like that's just one mothership palette. You know, well, it's not, it's like 120 quid roughly, a mothership palette. So we're just remembering those prices. Um, I had to get on this deal. If you've been watching my makeup wish list, my makeup wish list playlist that I've got going on, I'll link up in the eye. Every single month I sit down and I talk about all the things that are tickling my pickle, tickling my makeup pickle, and basically what I want. And the Pat McGrath holiday collection was absolutely one of them. As soon as I saw it, I was like, Zonk, that is for me, thank you very much, I want that. But I kind of knew that Pat McGrath would be having a Black Friday sale. And I was like, do you know what? you know what? I can wait. I can honestly wait. I can honestly wait. I also really wanted her Celestial Infinity, the Celestial Thing palette, her latest release. And for God's sake, Hannah Louise post and she makes me want everything. Recently post about another Mothership palette too. So I kind of had like a list of things I wanted and I was more than happy to wait for them as if I'm in a rush to buy makeup. I'm really, I'm really not in a rush. I'm really not in a rush to buy makeup. So um, this is the story all about how I bought uh, 200 pounds worth of Pat McGrath makeup. Let's just get it out of the way that I purchased the Christmas collection. I'm so excited by this. Honestly, I feel like excited is my new trigger word for this month. I've just been excited about everything. I've said the word excited every single video about 30,000 times, okay? We're gonna keep on saying it because I'm bloody excited. This is the Mothership, <laughs> the Mothership Celestial Odyssey palette. Not gonna lie to you, this is humongous. I thought this was gonna be much smaller than it was. I don't know why I thought that, but look at it in the comparison to the size of my head and I have a big head. Like I have a big head and this is, this is big. I'm gonna see if I can compare it to something. Um, oh, here you go. I've got a little ColourPop palette, the It's All Good, Good Sport palette. Look how big it is in comparison. It's literally like nearly three times the size of a ColourPop palette, just for reference, just so you know. I never got my hands on last year's eyeshadow palette. There was just something about it that was just like not quite for me. And I was like, oh, I decided to skip over it. But when I saw this one, Honestly, I just, it felt like a scene from a movie where they're both running towards each other on a hill. And it's like, la, 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 like running towards each other. This is amazing. Oh my God, look at that shade, look at that shade, look at that shade. <gasps> I'm gonna be swatching all of this out for you, but I'm trying to show you what I purchased first and then we'll swatch everything all in one go. I also picked up the blush palette that goes with the Christmas collection. Love the packaging, by the way. So the other one's exactly the same, but the outer packaging is exactly what it's like in the inside as well. And then the outside is just like that. And I, I really like that for some reason. I think that's quite nice. The packaging is absolutely stunning. So this is again, one of these, and this is the lighter palette. So they had two, they had like a light medium, which is this one, and then like a medium to dark. We have the Sublime Highlighter in Golden Nectar, and then we have uh, Desert Orchid, this blush here, and then Divine Rose. Desert Orchid looks so up my street. It's like a bronzy, ooh, bronzy muted brown. Mm -mm -mm. I like it. And then what's this one? Divine Rose, it looks like a beautiful 
mauve rosy colour. Really, really pretty. Really happy I've got these. I cannot wait to swatch these in a moment. And then, of course, <laughs> I picked this up. This is like a literal £60 highlighter, but I got it on, on deal. I got, so it's, it's a deal, so I had to make it up. This is the highlighter in Luna Nude. This is, and I've got to say, this is a much more luxe. So this is the packaging for it. You can see they're very, very similar to the rest of the collection, so it all looks one. You know, it's all reminiscent of each other and then this is the packaging for it so it has oh can, is my camera my camera's not liking this is it but it's got a sticker on it and it just says pat mcgrath labs on the back it just says skin fetish sublime skin highlighter with like the information it looks very luxe very luxe it's quite weighty as well and inside oh my god is like the prettiest embossing i have ever seen are you ready oh got a mirror and look at that compact oh my goodness gracious i'm not entirely sure if it's going to be my shades but to be honest with you it's one of those where i'm like i'm gonna make this work i'm gonna i'm gonna make this work you know i then picked up two mothership palettes <laughs> These, I'm very excited. I picked up the Mothership, oh, is this Mothership 4 Midnight Sun or Mothership 6 Midnight Sun? But this palette is something that I've been looking and lusting over for a while, but everyone on YouTube just kind of glossed over it. All the people I watched didn't present it how I wanted it to be presented, such as like their swatches weren't my vibe, or just like their makeup style wasn't my vibe. So I just kind of was like, oh, okay, I'll just skip on it. And I've been skipping on it for like what two years now but this year i saw hannah louise post and post a video about this palette and she did like an hour long video on this one palette and it was so detailed if you want a review on this palette i'm not even going to try i'm not even going to try she really honestly just aced that review she gave such a detailed and in-depth um description by the way packaging absolutely bloody insane i love pat mcgrath packaging of course i keep the unicartons you're talking to the hoarder queen herself so of course it just looks like the staple pat mcgrath palettes and then inside oh my goodness gracious it's just offensively beautiful isn't it it's just absolutely stunning those four special shades my fingers are like Ugh. and then these just look like everything i wear on an everyday basis i'm not gonna lie like i love grungy brown green like i just love a grungy tone for every day not necessarily heavy but just very neutral with an edgy grungy color to it that's kind of like my easy quick vibe so these six shades here are just like easy shades for me really exciting i'm actually so glad i picked this up thank you hannah louise poston for posting such an in-depth beautiful articulate video i just spat with so much passion um such an articulate video because you confirmed my purchase and i'm just like with, without that review i wouldn't have this and i'm i feel richer for it because i mean are you looking at the same palette because i'm looking at I'm looking at some beauty right here. Last but not least, I purchased the latest palette. What is this even called? The Utopian Dream. What is this one called then? I thought this was a Utopian Dream. No, Celestial Odyssey. I don't know, man. My mouth's all in a mess. I don't know. So this is the Mothership 9. My Roman numerals is diabolical. 1X. Is that 9? Oh, it is 9. I'm so good. I'm so clever. Knowledge. So yeah, the Mothership 9 Utopian Dream, not even Utopia, it's Utopian. Again, the packaging for this one. So <laughs> just reminds me of a gamer and I'm a massive gamer. I don't, it just, the packaging is just everything. The artwork for the Mothership palettes is just absolutely on like another level. Like look at these. Normally I find faces kind of creepy on makeup. I don't like faces on makeup. I'm talking to you, Huda. Don't really like it very often. I find it a little bit like, ugh. But the way Pat does this is honestly so captivating that we just had to give it its moment and just talk about it for a second there. The colours, I'll, like, I'll be honest with you, this whole palette kind of let me down a little bit. I thought it was going to be a little bit more rainbowy and not like another rose toned eyeshadow palette, but it was but that's okay because i think this is the nicest rose toned one she's bought out in a while because it's different and it's not just like what uh 12 10 10 pinks in a palette it's a little bit different so 
This is the Hutopian Dream. Again, we've got that beautiful purple, different to the Midnight Sun one because this is more of a reflective multi-chrome. So is this one. It's kind of gold, pink, blue, stunning. And all of these tones here, all of our lovely classic rosy tones that I honestly think this one is the best. There's the, what are they called? The the rose, the rose ones. The one I'm thinking of is the Mothership Divine Rose and the Divine Rose 2. I think the Divine Rose 2 is probably my favourite because it's a bit interesting. It's got that pink flip gold, but again, it's very pink, to, like rosy pink tones, which is like literally nothing wrong with that. That's the whole premise of the palette. And the Divine Rose 1 is just, it's just like, okay. Like I don't need it. It's nothing special in my personal opinion. I would prefer to have rosy tones with something else and this is rosy tones with something else to me this is more special um, and i'm really praying that these two shades here are really gonna transform the palette because alone this is just like nice a bit basic but nice i just think these are really really special and i'm hoping this will transform the look from purple pink to gold pink to blue pink like slightly sky blue pink i'm hoping this is going to kind of do it all for me um and that it's going to kind of mimic the divine rose one and two in the same palette kind of a three-in-one situation okay so as my complete collection of all my pat mcgrath palettes and i'm very happy to do a swatch party for you if you ever wanted that of me comparing shades of my collection and just swatching everything i own i own both of the i ecstasy i own the sublime and the subversive so this is the sublime and that's just like the little nude ones that are just metallic shades nothing particularly special and then you have the subversive which again is just five metallics uh the colored metallics from her range the only six pan eyeshadow palette i've got from pat mcgrath is this one here it is the mothership sublime bronze ambition eyeshadow palette honestly i use this one all the time it is really pretty it's just neutral shades like this is so basic so easy and it's just it's just like you don't even have to think and then finally we have the mothership five bronze seduction this is the only mothership palette i own well obviously up until now but previously this was the only mothership palette that i own honestly i think still to this day one of the prettiest eyeshadow palettes she has come out with it is deep it's grungy it's also neutral it also has pops of greeny beautifulness like i don't know if that's even showing to you this gold special pink shade it's beautiful red it's beautiful rose gold this is stunning so i'm going to go into the blush and highlight palette are we ready to get my little mitts into them before i just show you the swatches i just want to show that the pan like embossing did not sort of waver at all it's properly in there you know it's a good embossing so here we go here are the swatches boom boom oh wow boom oh okay so that's what it looks like the highlighter is looking pretty deep a little bit worried about that to be honest with you a little bit worried about that but these are the shades so at the top there we have divine rose in the middle we have desert orchid and then the highlighter of course we have golden nectar let's go in with a little bit of a mix i think that can be fun oh, oh it picks up a lot oh pigment Oh, it blends lovely though. I've already got bronzer on and I try to not be too heavy with it, but sometimes I get a bit carried away. Oh, so this is a mix and I actually really love that as a mix. It kind of offers more of a pinky orange rather than just a peach or just a rose, you know? Oh yeah. Of course we have to try out this highlighter. This is like the, the most expensive highlighter I've ever owned in my life. The most unnecessary, but you know, like, hey, you only live once. I work hard. <laughs> That's my just. I don't drink, I don't smoke. That's my justification, okay? Oh my god. I'm so excited. I just got this little uh, highlighting brush from Colourpop. It's an F33. I'm just going to show you the embossing one more time. But look how regal she is. Look how regal. Oh, I hope it stays for a while. Let's go for this. <gasps> Oh my god, I think I just, I think I just, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really hope that's picking up on camera. I really, really hope it is. Do you know what's lovely about it? Is I'll get, I'll get close in a minute, but I have very dry skin. And today is one of those days where my skin is just not playing game and my skin looks dry and nothing was, like I have an oil under my skin and it still looks dry, okay? And I haven't powdered that's how dry my skin gets sometimes today is one of those days 
and sometimes highlighter can really emphasize how dry my skin is but this is not it's like sitting on the skin but not on the skin it's not melting into the skin i wouldn't say it looks like a cream but it's just like meshing in with the skin that's how i'd say it oh my stunning 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 <gasps> yes ignore my dry ass skin but look at how that's like sitting on the skin it is slightly sparkly but not um not like devastatingly so like you can really see it there it's really meshing in with that skin lovely it's not sit it's not emphasizing my pores it just looks nice so i'm probably gonna apply this one on my eyes today and play around with this shade it looks stunning and like i don't know some of these shades perhaps but let's just have a look at the other ones I'm going to swatch the Midnight Sun palette on the back of my hand. I'm going to do the same with the Utopian Dream one. Um, just so you can see the shimmer and just the payoff on the back of my hand. I'll come back to you in a second. This isn't a swatch party. I just wanted to show you swatches of the shades. You guys, sometimes magical things happen. And sometimes like I look at swatches on my hand and I'm like, I want that tattooed. Like, I don't want to wash that off. I just want to look at it, you know? It's a piece of artwork on my hand. Ah! Oh my god! so i've done it so that it should be like this so all of this row is together and all of this row is together but i'm going to show you like this o m g look at those 10 beautiful shadows come on camera get back in focus honestly the camera I, I, honestly it's just not it's not giving it the justice it deserves this is possibly and i'm not this is not an understatement the shiniest eyeshadow i own to date and when i applied this i literally went oh my god out loud honestly i think the whole palette is just worth it for that one shade like i think i would repurchase the whole palette again for this one shade it's genuinely the shiniest like can you see that from back there it's the shiniest eyeshadow i've ever seen in my entire life it's stunning absolutely stunning again looking at those swatches oh stunning 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 even the mattes are so consistent everything is so beautiful look at that coppery orange shade and how it glistens uh you guys you thought the other one was beautiful this one's even more beautiful oh my goodness i feel like i've made such great decisions with these mothership palettes look at those stunning 10 shades like the top four honestly like can you see this oh my god these two here are honestly like shadows with glitter in them i can't explain them you know when i said that was the shiniest shadow i owned this one is exactly the same but in like a different format this again actually i'd say the other one is more shiny but this is the most glittery shadow the purple is stunning it's like a purple to light blue this one is like a peach to yellow and then you've got a straight up beautiful shiny gold then you've got like a green to maroon shade i don't know if it'll be able to pick up you can kind of oh there you go you can see the green there and then i flip it and it's maroon can you see yeah the green you can see the edge of it there can you see the green can you see the green i'm not sure if you can but i hope you can so this palette i feel like is a real complete palette it really shows off those rose tones again i've swatched it just like i did the other one row by row in that sort of sense look at this though look how beautiful that is i know that's not focusing but to be honest with you oh my god does it need to focus when you can just see it it's stunning i think i've chosen two really contrasting and two really great eyeshadow palettes that are that like they're going to enhance my makeup collection they're not duplicating themselves at all this is nothing like the midnight sun at all um but it still really embodies that rose toned pink eyeshadow with a pop of something different that i truly like you've got a multi-chrome in there or duochrome rather a duochrome and then you've got these glittery topier topier topper special shades that are just to die for and i can't stop looking at my hand <laughs> it's beautiful it's beautiful it truly truly is now to swatch the celestial odyssey none of these shades are like those special ones at the top but we do have all metallic and mattes in here so um how many shades are in here one two three four six this is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette fair it's kind of big okay maybe i'll do nine and nine on each hand the way i have swatched this is i've cut it right down the middle in terms of i've got this on my left hand i've got these shades here and on my right hand or like how you're viewing it your left it's these shades here these nine here and these nine here so this is the left side of the palette really stunning and then this is the right side 
also really stunning. So even though we've got no special shades, the metallics and the matte, like the mattes are so creamy and so pigmented, the metallics are absolutely stunning stunning absolutely stunning really really different actually really different a lot of it is coppery bronze rose tones so i'm really grateful for those pops of color honestly this black here i don't know if the camera's actually going to pick it up but you can see how many like chunky glitters are in there and they're all oh no it's going to keep defocusing it's so so pretty and so like multicolored. this lavender shade i think i'm gonna have to apply that on my lids today and that green holy smokes that green is so cool. This side here, I think I love the most. And this side is just very complimentary. If I'm honest, like I could have probably just done with a nine pan like that. If they were both nine pans and one was like that and one was like that, I'd definitely pick this one, this one right here, because I think it's more interesting. So actually, do you know what this reminds me of? That nine pan reminds me of the NYX utopia or something like that really really pretty okay i want to go wash this off i know this video has been long so i'm not going to talk over doing the eyeshadow i'm just going to put a little bit of music on i'm going to apply it and i'm going to give you my final thoughts and just celebrate the fact that i picked up three pat mcgrath palettes two highlighters and two blushes on 35 percent off go me go me uh, 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 uh. Okay, this is the look with obviously adjust this eyeshadow palette. I kind of wanted to go for like this taupey lavender. I've got a little bit of fallout going on. It is a tiny bit fallouty. That's the only thing I'll say. You saw me spray my brushes just so the metallics wouldn't drop all over my face. It's a little bit fallouty, so I suggest you do your face makeup after, personally, just to avoid any mishaps. Um, this is the look. It's a little bit messy, but like I just wanted to play around really, just apply as many shadows as I could just to create a cohesive look. I really, really like this. This is the sort of look that I would wear, just like going out with girls for lunch, just like something a little bit glam, but not too like a -a voom in your face. I'll put some mascara on in a minute. But I just wanna try one of those special shades, because I think one of the special shades especially that utopian dream one or utopian dream will look so nice just like to mesh these two together so i'm gonna do that i'm thinking this shade right here i'm gonna take it on my finger oh my god oh my god oh my god and then <laughs> i don't know if you can see that but i'm just gonna pat that across whoa oh my god it just elevated it like this is the look and then this is the look she is the moment she is the moment oh my goodness okay oof, 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 oof. okay i'm gonna go get some mascara on and i will summarize my thoughts just before i zoom out this is what the look looks like with mascara doesn't mascara just complete a look honestly it really does this is like really glam really sultry i think really wearable for a lot of people this look and that's what i hauled from pat mcgrath i hope you've enjoyed today's video i hope you've enjoyed kind of the not just this is what i got this is what i got but the kind of swatching the playing around this whole video i have got so many more hauls it's frightening so many more hauls to come they haven't come yet but i have ordered so many black friday things um so yeah if you love hauls stick around because if you're new here obviously like i said if you watch my wish list video you'll know that i'm only allowed to order things in june and november those are the two months i say to myself girl you save all year you spend this money how you want to spend it so those two months that i can just spend it whenever i want 
it's my birthday in June, Jake's birthday in November, they're months I spend money anyway, November's I buy things at Christmas, you know, like it's just the months I spend the most money on. So I'm gonna buy the things I really want and this was a massive thing that I really wanted. So yeah, more hauls are coming. If you love them, hit subscribe down below, ring the bell because you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every other day, basically three to four videos a week. If I miss a day, I definitely make sure I upload that video. So three to four videos a week, I try to stay as consistent as possible. And yeah, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, talk to me down below. Do you own anything from Pat McGrath? Let me know what you own. If you don't own anything, what would you like to own? And that's it. Thank you guys. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.